there VR users, this is my latest and final video on how to install the Oculus or Meta software onto a separate drive. It has been over 3 years since I made my original tutorial, and I have had over 100,000 people watch and use my old tutorials to do this, but with the holiday season coming up, I know that there will be a new wave of people who need this information, and I just want to have the most clear and concise tutorial I can make, and sadly, my last tutorial just did not cut it. I also want to quickly say that for the best results, please watch the entire video. I have had hundreds of people asking me for help over the years with problems that were addressed in the video that they watched and could have been solved hours prior to them realizing that. We have technology! It didn't work. Lastly, I have a small message at the end that I would love for people to hear, so if you're willing to hear me out, I would really appreciate it. You will need to uninstall the Oculus software if you had it installed on your C drive previously. Otherwise, it will just tell you that you need to uninstall it before you can reinstall it on another drive. Okay, let's jump right in. The first thing that I want to do is tell you to ignore any of the information that you have found online or been told to do in other tutorials. Chances are, if you're here, they did not work. I'm here to fix that, and you should do as I say, or it will not work. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to your folders, go to your downloads. But wait, there's a problem here. There are multiple Oculus setups here. You see, when you download multiple Oculus setups, it will have a number after the name, and this can cause an issue in the next step. So you want to make sure that you move the Oculus setup without a number to the desktop. Or if you've already deleted that, just rename the Oculus setup with a number, remove the brackets and the, the number there. Press enter and then drag the one that is now called Oculus Setup.exe onto your desktop. Now that we have moved our Oculus Setup to the desktop, we're going to address the most complicated part, but it is actually very easy to do as long as you follow these steps. This is the dreaded path that everybody gets confused by, but it is actually very simple to do. The first thing you're going to want to do is right click on the Oculus Setup.exe, go to the properties, go to the location down here. Just highlight this, right click, and press copy. I want to quickly bring up one problem that could arise at this step, which is if you are using OneDrive. There is one extra step that you'll have to do before we can move on. If you're not sure that you're using OneDrive, don't worry because it's pretty obvious if you are. Just check the location and the properties of the Oculus setup. And if you see OneDrive in this highlighted area, then you need to do this next step. So if you see OneDrive in that location, I want you to quickly just take a note of your user here, and then go in into this PC in your folders, go into C drive, go into your users folder, and then go into the user that you saw in that previous location, create a new folder, and just name it desktop, drag the Oculus setup off your main screen onto this new folder, press continue, then go into this folder, right click on the Oculus setup, go to properties, and then this will be the location that you need to move on with. Now that we have OneDrive squared away, we can finally get on with the rest of the tutorial and create the path. This is very simple. All you're gonna have to do is open your notepad, paste the location that you got from the previous step into the notepad, press backslash, type in oculus setup.exe space slash drive equals D or whichever drive letter that you want to install the Oculus software onto. Now that we have the path fully created, this is the end of the tutorial for the majority of you. This next step will allow you to install the Oculus software without any further issue. Just copy the path, press Windows key and R, paste the path into this box down here, then press OK. You will be smacked in the face with an admin prompt, just press yes on it. After that, you're just going to have to wait for the Oculus software to open, and then from here it is very straightforward. If it lets you install it, please skip the last segment of the video. However, for a minority of people, you will see that there is a problem that I know of where even if your drive should work, the installer will hit you with an error saying not enough space or ineligible drive selected. This does not mean that you cannot install the Oculus software, you just need to follow these extra steps in order to brute force it into submission. What you will need to do is create a virtual hard disk within the drive that you want the software on. It is very straightforward to do. 
just once again go to this PC, go into the drive that you want to install the Oculus software on, create a folder in it named Oculus. Once you've done that, press the Windows key and type in Disk Management. You will see Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. Just click on that and then wait for it to open. Now that we have this open, just click Action, go to Create VHD, click Browse. Once again, go back to this PC, go into the drive that you made that new folder in, open it, and then in the file name, just type in Oculus software and then click save as you'll see it will now have the location of the oculus software.vhd and now in virtual hard disk size just press gb in this drop down menu then type in 20 and then press ok after that it will start creating your virtual hard disk once this is complete i will come back and tell you what you need to do for the rest of the tutorial Awesome, now that your VHD is fully installed, just scroll down on this little bar here until you can see the new disk, which is 20 gigabytes unallocated. Right click on this left box here and then click initialize disk. Press OK. Now we have done that. Right click on this, go to new simple volume, go to next, next, Assign it a drive letter. I'm going to use Z for my example here. Press next again. Make sure the file system is on NTFS, otherwise it will not work. So just make sure it's not on FAT32, just make sure it is on NTFS here. After that, press next again. And finish. That is all with the VHD. And we can now move on to the final step. But before we do, I just want to bring up a common problem that results with this method being that it may appear your Oculus software completely disappears into thin air. When this happens, just go back to where you installed that Oculus software VHD, double click on it to reopen it, and that should solve the issue. Finally, to finish it off with a virtual hard disk, all you have to do is go back to your path, replace the old drive letter with the new one you got from creating the virtual hard disk, Copy the entire path again, press Windows key and R to open this run prompt again, press paste, press OK. Again you will be intruded upon by this pesky admin prompt, just press yes, and then wait for the Oculus software to open once again. Once it opens, you should be able to install it without any further issues. And that's going to be it. Everybody should be good to go. I just have something that I want to talk about before I end the video, and that's that I have spent years tinkering and figuring out the fix for something that should be extremely easy for a multi-billion dollar company to pay an employee to implement into their software. Instead, I volunteered hundreds of hours of my time to find the best solution to the problem that they created. If you look at the times at the bottom right of the screen during the video, you will see that it took me over two hours just to record these segments alone. Lastly. Their VR headsets cost hundreds of dollars, but this video was entirely free to watch, and I can't make anything off of it. If you're willing to help a stranger on the internet with good intentions, I would massively appreciate it if you could send a couple of bucks my way, or simply head over to my Twitch channel where I stream fairly regularly, and come to talk to me there. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. The links to do either of those will be in the description of the video. Thanks for hearing me out, I appreciate you using this tutorial, and if it worked, please leave a like and a comment saying so. That way it can reach more people who need the information as well. Thanks for watching, please share this video to anyone that you know who may need it. Subscribe if you'd be so inclined, once I reach 1k I might have a chance at monetizing my channel. Have a good one.